this video, I'm going to demonstrate some of the N7624B Signal Studio's basic capabilities to create and customize LTE waveforms to characterize the power and modulation performance of your components and transmitters. Adjacent channel leakage ratio is a key transmitter 3GPP conformance test and an important power amplifier performance metric since this component is the main contributor of distortion in the transmit chain. The use of OFDMA scheme for the downlink in LTE results in a signal with high peak to average power ratio, which is a result of independent phases of multiple subcarriers adding constructively. This extremely stressful signal requires a power amplifier with a large dynamic range, which presents very difficult challenges to PA designers. E node B transmitter conformance tests are carried out using downlink configurations known as E UTRA test models. These are highly complex signals due to the flexible nature of the LTE downlink OFDMA modulation scheme. Therefore, a large number of parameters need to be fully defined, which increases the chances of errors during setup. Signal Studio software N7624B eliminates this uncertainty and decreases the setup time by providing predefined setups for all three classes of EUTRA test models. I am going to demonstrate how to create a test signal configured for an EUTRA test model using Signal Studio for 3GBP LTE software to characterize the performance of the PA from an ACLR standpoint. We are going to create a 5 MHz LTE FTD downlink signal configured for the EUTRA test model 1.2. First, I am using going the software. to set up so some basic started. parameters for the vector signal generator such as the frequency of the uh, carrier signal, the amplitude, and uh, turning the RF output on. So for that, I will go into the instrument menu and go into the frequency parameter and set the frequency to be 2.14 gigahertz and the amplitude to be 0 dBm and uh, turn the RF output on. Next, I am going to reconfigure the default basic LTE downlink carrier for E UTRA test model 1.2 and 5 megahertz bandwidth configuration using the test model wizard. So as we can see, uh, by default, Signal Studio has populated the carrier setting to be a basic LTE FTD release 9 downlink with fully filled QPSK 5 megahertz utilizing 25 resource blocks. So I am going to go into the downlink um, section on the, on the uh, left side and uh, click on the test model wizard and you can see that by default the test model type is EUTRA test model 1.1 with a system bandwidth of 5 megahertz. So I'm going to change that to EUTRA test model 1.2 and as you can see down here, the, the test is applicable to measuring the ACLR performance of your component. And you can also see the configuration details for this test model. Signal Studio's test model wizard provides extensive information for each EUTRA test model, including 3GPP test use cases and related parameter details such as the number of uh, power boosted and de-boosted de uh, physical downlink shade channels as you can see here. The e UTRA test model 1.2 configuration is the best setup for product performance evaluations because it simulates multiple allocations set at different power levels. This scenario results in a high factor which makes it more difficult to amplify the signal without creating additional unwanted spectral content. 
we can see some of that by going into the physical channel selection on the left and looking at the different channels and the different power levels for each of those channels and you can see the variation of the power levels of these different uh, physical downlink shared channels. With this uh, automatically all set up for us uh, by just selecting the right test model, we can then go ahead and generate the waveform by clicking on the generate waveform button and then you can further um, go and download the waveform to the vector signal generator. This concludes the demonstration of creating a test signal configured for a e-utero test model using Signal Studio N7624B software for 3GPP LTE. Thanks for watching.